Ladies and gentlemen, I am your Planetary Defense Commander, Star-Lord New Thor 7. And do you remember about a year ago when I let y'all know that they let us know that there were 240 cubic miles of magma just discovered beneath California's super volcano? Well, have I got a surprise for you. Because this information's going coast to coast. But first, I gotta remind you, it's that wonderful time of the month where I do a fundraiser for all of Thor News financial needs raised to your contributions. And I would like to thank Darlene, Joy, Ellie, Tawny, and Athena. We've raised $130 of the 888 goal. With only 757 left to go. So if you would like to support Thor News and all my awesomeness, you can send a letter to 5430 Birdwood Road, number 416, Houston, Texas, 77096. I got a PayPal, a Venmo, a Cash App, and a Patron. And I really do appreciate all your support. Now we're swinging on over to the East Coast and Fox News, which means only 50% of you will believe this story. Anywho, this is under natural disasters if you need to figure out where to file it away. A new super volcano is brewing under Massachusetts. That's right, Vermont and New Hampshire. A huge mass of molten rock has been discovered, gradually making itself known to geologists. Did y'all know that the last major East Coast volcano eruption came in Vermont? The upwelling we detected is like a hot air balloon, and we infer that some is rising up to the deeper part of the planet under New England. And this could explain a lot of the strange heat anomalies we've seen in the upper Atlantic lately. The traces became evident through a large-scale new seismic study. I think we should be putting way more money and research into volcanoes and earthquakes. Brewing under Massachusetts, Vermont, and New Hampshire is something of a surprise, except not to me, it is something I've been talking about. There is a large seamount change that exists right off of New England. Our study challenges the established notion, the continents of how we live and behave. The region is geologically stable. There are no active volcanoes yet. So the massive magma buildup must be a relatively recent event. But in the time scale of Earth's geological processes, this still means tens of millions of years. But with all the gas giants on the same side, who knows? It will likely take millions of years for the upwelling to get where it's going. The next step is to try and understand exactly how it's happening. And one thing at Thor News, I'm pretty sure the sun's energy enters through our upper and lower atmosphere and the auroras goes into the core, which is a little mini star. And that's what causes our planet to grow. Science likes to disagree. But whether or not the magma bubble will eventually eek its way into the surface is unknown. We will have to keep watching heat trends. Maybe we didn't have time yet, or maybe it's too small and we'll never make it. Come back in 50 million years and we'll see what happens. Who knows, man? Volcanoes. We don't really know jack shit about them. And what I have learned through all my seven years of research, hard work, and studied at Thor News is that when you have the major gas giants on the same side, we're talking Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, that is when you get most of the major volcano and earthquake eruptions in the United States, Canada, and Central America. Like Cascadia, that 9-5 that hit, that happened when gas giants were on the same side. The big earthquake in uh, the 19, was it 84 World Series? Gas giants on the same side. The 1915, the last time a volcano erupted in California, gas giants on the same side. The New Madrid earthquake, gas giants on the same side. And it is a well-known fact that Jupiter's moon Io basically has more eruptions when all of its moons are on the same side. So, as science has been far too focused on just carbon and carbon only, I've done some research and we definitely need to be on the lookout for volcanoes and earthquakes coast to coast in the United States as Jupiter continues to travel around and it will meet up with and line up with Saturn next year at about the time of the 2020 election. Isn't that interesting? Yes, indeed. So we won't see any more major balance in our solar system for a minimum of six years. It'll probably take us another de decade to totally balance it out. And so this has been another 
two minutes to midnight, doomsday clock, drive-in theater, volcano edition, American style. And if you love me, what I do, I would love and appreciate all your thanks and support, however you want to send it, even if it's just in prayer or good thoughts. So I'd like everybody to stay cool, have a wonderful weekend, and I will be doing my thing. Peace out. God bless everyone.